Here at the Wildlife Aid Foundation, when it comes to the treatment and release of our patients, we have about a 70% success rate, of which we are very proud. Sadly, however, not all cases at WAF have a happy outcome. Two vets spent nearly all day on Friday, literally bringing this poor cold badger cub back from near death. From an undetectable heartbeat, a non-readable temperature, after two hours, the little cub began to show some signs of recovery. By mid-afternoon, we dared to hope that she was a little more stable, with her temperature now only one degree below normal and a steady pulse. Suddenly though, a short while later, she suffered a serious fit and had to be sedated, but once more rallied, showing signs of stabilizing by midnight, when she appeared to be much more quiet and peaceful. With the drip still attached, we left her to sleep, and by 8 a.m. the next morning, she was showing signs of movement and consciousness. But at 8.27, her breathing became erratic, and she died shortly afterwards. Needless to say, we were totally distraught. We will always give every effort to every patient, but sometimes it's as if it's just not meant to be. We mourn every loss, but as always, such instances make us even more determined to do all we can to redress the balance. Sadly, there will be an ever-increasing amount of patients who will need the dedicated care of wildlife hospitals, and we will make sure that we are spending 24 hours a day doing our best. To all of you who donated towards the Badger Cub, thank you so much. Any money that might be left over after the money spent will go towards helping other patients here at WAF, which incidentally cost us over £1,100 per day to run. <laughs>